My parents were in the process of opening their carpet store when they acquired me. So I guess it was sort of a natural thing for them to think of me as another piece of carpet. <laughs> you know, some sort of remnant. <laughs> what? That's a funny analogy. I'm here to amuse. Ever tried to talk to them about it? Well. Yeah. When? Once. Once? Once when I was six and a quarter, Mrs. Bassetti and I sat down and we talked. You don't want to know. Yes, I do. Well, I told her that I preferred books to dolls, boots to ballet slippers, and that my idea of a family vacation was to go and work on the Alaska pipelines for the summer. <laughs> and? Well, I was only six and a quarter. I can't remember everything. Huh. You really want to know this stuff? Well, she cried for three days. She told everybody she felt like I was Rosemary's baby. She had a thing about that movie. And then she stopped trying. And so did I. That's too bad, Dickie. That's really too bad. She can't help the way she feels, neither can I. I mean, there isn't anything wrong with that. It's not like I have some romantic notion about how I'm suffering because my parents, people for that matter, don't understand me. I mean, so what? Who understands anybody, really, who wants to? It's hard enough trying to understand yourself, you know? We just don't fit. It happens. It's not going to matter after Friday anyway. Why? Because Roxy Carmichael's coming home? Because my mother's coming to get me. Your mother? Wait a minute, Dickie. I don't think I understand. It's not for you to understand, really. Okay, what do you say we comb your hair? 